All right, if you think uh, voltage dividers are boring, let's uh, show you something that might change your mind a little bit. This is a simple circuit. It's got three components in it. It has a photocell right here, a resistor here, and a green LED right here. And this is basically a, a, a voltage divider. We've got the LED connected across the resistor here in series with this cadmium sulfide photocell. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the parameters of the circuit by hitting the photocell with a laser. And it doesn't have to be a laser, it could be a flashlight. I can put this in, uh, take a flashlight and use it to get the same effect. This is actually an ultraviolet flashlight. Uh, but I could just as easily use a visible flashlight. And you can see the LED comes on. And this is using the voltage divider principle. We're just using the LED as an indicator for the change in the circuit when we apply light to the sensor. So this is one application for the voltage divider formula, and we're going to get into that a little bit more later. But I wanted to show you a video and show you how this stuff works. We can get any kind of behavior we want from this, by the way. We can have the LED on with normal light levels, and turn it off when we make things dark. We can have it work in reverse so that the LED goes off when we shine the laser on it. And I can hook it up and I'll show you that arrangement in a second. Okay, here I've modified the circuit so that we now have the photocell on the bottom of the voltage divider. So the photocell is down here. The LED is in parallel with the photocell and we have the resistor up here at the top. So ordinarily from our drawings, this would be R1, this would be R2, and this is a LED in parallel in R2. Now, what I'm going to do is shine a light on the photocell, a laser, and you'll notice that the LED goes out. So we've got just the reverse behavior that we had in the previous circuit that I showed you. And the only tricky thing about this is calculating the right values for R1 and R2, and it's just a matter of using the voltage divider formula. So we'll show you more about this and allow you to hook up your own circuits and test them out. And of course, things are going to get progressively more and more sophisticated as we go along. So this whole series on voltage dividers is going to lead to some fairly complicated circuits, interfacing to microcontrollers even later. But I want everybody to understand the basics first before we move on. What I want to do here is start a series where we show you how to build something and we talk about how it works. So hopefully this is useful to you and you've enjoyed this.